Hello, it's good to see you. Today we're going to take a look at some items that I picked up at Aldi. But I also have a few other, um, just a few random items that I picked up uh, at Goodwill. And also, earlier today I went to the Greensboro Historic Museum and I bought a few things in the gift shop at the museum. So I wanted to show you that as well. Um, to start with, I have this little bag here. And this came from the uh, the museum. It's a little crinkly. And I only bought a few things. Um, I'll show you what I got. <clears throat> the first thing I got was a magnet. Now I love magnets. I have several on my refrigerator from different places that I've been. Um, I don't buy a magnet everywhere I go, but every now and then I'll see one that really just kind of catches my eye and I'll, I'll pick it up. This is one that I got at the museum today. It shows the skyline of part of Greensboro and it's a 3D magnet. It's kind of hard to see it, but it has um, several different layers to it. It's not just a flat picture and it is made, um, it's on wood. It's just a picture kind of laminated on wood and then of course it has the big magnet on the back so that was that was one of the things I picked up also I picked up a second magnet because <laughs> I really love Greensboro so um, this one is made to look like a North Carolina license plate um, up at the top up here it has the picture of the Wright Brothers airplane um, because they did their first flight in Kitty Hawk North Carolina out by the coast I've been there it's really cool um, and they were from Ohio but they flew it here in North Carolina and it has Greensboro North Carolina on it um, Actually, they've changed the layout of our license plate since then. Now it just says First in Freedom. But this is one of the older ones. This is First in Flight. So it's just a little thin little magnet. So I'm going to put those on my refrigerator. And the third thing is something I've kind of been looking for. It's not related to Greensboro or anything. But when I saw it, I thought, well, I wanted to get one of those anyway. And all the money from the gift shop goes to support the museum, so I thought I'd just buy it from them. It is a Jacob's Ladder. I don't know if you're familiar with these. Maybe you had one as a child. I had a couple as a kid. And it even comes with a little instruction paper. So it's made of these pieces of paper. Or wood. Made of pieces of wood. And they're held together by these different colored ribbons. And they're put together in such a way that um, when you take the top one and turn it, it does that. And well, one of the reasons I was looking for one is because I don't know what made me think of it, but I would kind of like to make a video just doing um, something with the sound of a Jacob's Ladder and I'm not really sure what maybe something like that I don't know I've just I've been wanting to do it for a while and I've been kind of looking for one of these the, the one I had as a child I can't find and my kids have both had at least one and they can't find theirs either so um I was happy to find this one. The instruction paper shows you some different things you can do. So I may try some of these different uh, techniques and see if I like the sound better. Because you know, just holding it up, it's, it's kind of loud. So I don't know if I would want to do that. But they had a Jacob's Ladder, so I went ahead and bought it from them. And that was all I got at the, uh, the gift shop at the museum. And I just posted a video that I made walking through part of the museum, if you're interested in that. Uh, and after I got done there, I went to Goodwill, <clears throat> partly to drop off some stuff, but also to uh, look around a little bit. I always go in and look around when I drop off things. Um, and I bought, I just bought a few things. I have one little bag 
I'm gonna show you what I got. Just this bag. That's it. I've had a lot of people ask me if I would do another Goodwill haul, but the thing is, I haven't really been shopping at Goodwill much lately. Um, for the last couple months, I've been trying to get rid of things. I've been kind of doing some spring cleaning and taking stuff out of here. I've gotten rid of a lot of things. Um, so I'm trying not to bring stuff in. I'm trying to get stuff out. But I did find a few things in here in, in Goodwill today that I did pick up. <laughs> um, here's one. It's kind of, it's fragile, so I have to be careful with it. Look at this. This is from the um, Fainting Goat. It's from Fainting Goat Spirits. And it's written on there like that. So it looks like the goat. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like the goat is fainting. And I bought this to, as part of a video. I'm probably not going to keep it, although it is really cute. And I have a new bookshelf. I don't know if you can see it back there. Um, my son and I put that together. And I don't have much on it right now. I kind of thought about putting a little something on it like this, just a unique little piece, but more than likely it will end up back at Goodwill. It has a solid glass base down here. It kind of reminds me of the globe on, an hur on a hurricane lantern, the way it curves like that. I'm going to use this in a video either today or tomorrow. You will see it again. Um, nothing too fancy, um, but I have several small little wine glasses that I got at Goodwill and I'm going to show them to you and we're going to clean them and I think I'm going to use that one also. So that's what that's for. The next thing I got I actually feel kind of bad about because um, I recently got rid of a bunch of dresses. I went through my whole closet and got rid of a bunch of stuff. I bet I got rid of 15 dresses out of my closet which if you saw it, it didn't really make much of a dent, but I was really tickled with that. So I feel kind of bad that today I bought another dress, <laughs> but it was so pretty. The colors and the pattern, I just couldn't, I couldn't resist it. It's very long, so I'm going to have a hard time showing it to you. First, I want to show you the pattern and the colors of this dress because it's, it is so pretty. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This is just the prettiest. It's so bright and it just looks like springtime. Um, it is sleeveless and then it has kind of a v-neck in the front with this ruffled fabric that is the same as the rest of the fabric in the dress. And it is trimmed along here with embroidered orange thread. Or it's just, yeah, wrapped in this orange thread. It zips up in the back. Um, it was made by Alice of California. I'm, I'm thinking this is kind of an older dress. It actually doesn't even say where it was made. <laughs> and the tag looks kind of old. hard to say but I don't even know if it fits I didn't try it on which I usually don't try things on um, I had on hiking boots today and skinny jeans and I just did not feel like I didn't feel like trying it on so I did not so it may not even fit me I don't know it doesn't even say it actually doesn't even say what size it is so I have no idea if this will fit or not but it's it's very long <laughs> look at this it is super long. It's going to go down to my ankles, I know, and if I were a short person, it wouldn't fit me. Um, the next thing I got, um, I got to sell on eBay. I don't really sell much on eBay anymore. I used to do a lot more of it. It was a good way to make a little extra money um, as a single mom with two kids. You know, a, you know, a little extra money never hurts. I've been doing it off and on for 19 years. And, uh, but I don't, I don't do much of it these days, but every now and then I'll come across something that I think I can make a little bit of money on. 
which always comes in handy. Uh, my older son has braces and my insurance doesn't cover that. And if you've ever had braces or have a kid that had braces, they're, they're not cheap. Um, and he's probably going to be getting them off in a couple of months. But before they'll take them off, I have to pay the remaining balance. I make a payment every month. But you have to pay the balance before they'll take them off, which totally makes sense. Um, but I'm going to have to come up with a big chunk of money. So um, anything I can sell on eBay would help pay that. <laughs> so this is what I got. to show you because it's it's a pair of it's a pair of dress pants it's ladies uh, dress pants from Lane Bryant and they're brand new you saw the tag on them they're size 24 and it's really they're really pretty they're navy blue it's kind of hard to tell but they are navy blue with a, um, a gray pinstripe they're really cool But I saw those and I picked them up. I thought I might be able to, might be able to make a little bit off that. <laughs> so there was that. And then one other thing I got was for me. I didn't try these on either. Um, when I go to the gym, I like to wear um, capri length or knee length uh, lycra pants, kind of like yoga pants, but not with the straight leg. And I found this really nice pair of, I think these are basically knee-length Nike pants. And they're so soft. Oh, they're incredibly soft. I love the way they feel. And they're nice and stretchy, so they're going to be comfortable no matter what I'm doing. Um, and I do like the length. I don't normally wear, you know, full-length yoga pants. Not to the gym, anyway. I wear them at home a lot. But I don't like to wear them at the gym. I don't know why. I just, I just prefer something shorter. Um, something like this, you know, or, you know, maybe it comes down mid calf or something like that. So I don't know if these will fit either. Um, the size tag is missing. It's not there. It's like it got cut out or something, but I, I think they'll fit. If not, then they'll just go back to Goodwill. <laughs> but I like these because they have the wide band across here. And to me, they're just, they're more comfortable. I don't feel like it's cutting me in half. So, I'll try those, and if they fit, then I will keep them. So, that is all I have from um, the museum and Goodwill, but I wanted to show you that little bit of stuff. Now, everything else here is from Aldi, and a lot of this stuff is um, like the stuff I normally buy, but some of it is a little different, and I will explain why I bought these different things as we go along. <clears throat> The first two things I want to show you are kind of crinkly, a little bit uh, noisy. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? These are hollow chocolate Easter eggs, um, figu Easter figurines it says down here at the bottom. There's one giant Easter bunny back there and it's just like the ones they make for Christmas except of course the ones for Christmas look like little Christmas ornaments and they have a little piece of gold string in there so you can um, you can hang them on your tree if you want to we just ate them and the big the big chocolate piece was just it was like a Santa Claus um, so I got these for a little party that my younger son's teacher is gonna have uh, before spring break and she asked that people send in goodies for that so I got these little full wraps Easter eggs and they are uh, they were made in Germany it's kind of wrinkled up but you can see down there at the bottom that it says that and I know I can speak from experience these are very good these are so good I love this chocolate so I got these but I knew that wasn't gonna be quite enough so I also got this These are also hollow chocolates. And they're from Shoker, which is the company that makes a lot of the, uh, the chocolate that you find at Aldi, at least in my area. 
and they're wrapped in this beautiful pastel foil. We have blue, green, and pink down there. So I thought with this bag and that bag and a couple other things that I'm going to get to send in, I thought that would be a nice contribution to the spring party. They're not allowed to call it an Easter party, so they call it a spring party that they're going to have in the class. So, and it comes in this little cellophane bag. And then there's a little tie up here at the top, like they used to put on packages of saltine crackers. This little piece here that has, it's plastic and it has wire in it. And you can just pinch it like that. You can see the top up here. I'm going to hide those from the kids until time to send them in <laughs> so they don't get eaten. So those are for the party at school. And this, I had never seen this. I went in there and I don't know if your Aldi is like mine, but there is this one aisle in there, this one section where they'll put, um, they will have other items, but they have a lot of food items or drinks that may be a limited time offer <clears throat> or something new. And I saw this in there today. I've never seen this before. It's called Looking Sharp and it's granola. It's vanilla almond granola. And it is from Millville, which is one of the Aldi companies. Got a cute little, little creature on there. <laughs> it's a porcupine if we're talking about looking sharp but it says on the back let's see our Millville vanilla almond granola is packed with simple ingredients such as whole grain oats and almonds with only four grams of sugar and low sodium this is a perfect choice any time of the day to keep you looking sharp so I thought this would be a nice little snack to have around um, it is a 12 ounce bag and I actually don't remember how much it was. Um, I don't think it was much though. It was pretty cheap. So it comes in this nice little bag and it has um, a Ziploc thing at the top so you can seal it back up after you open it, which is really nice. So I don't know how that is. I'm gonna try that. Oh, and I know I normally get the same bread all the time. You could basically play a drinking game with these Aldi hauls I do. <laughs> I know. Uh, I've heard. So to make things different, I bought a different kind of bread today. And this is very crinkly also. Very noisy. This is specially selected sliced brioche. This is a sliced brioche loaf. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. It's one pound, 1 1.6 ounces, imported from France. I just thought I would go with a completely different kind of bread. And I also thought this would be good. Um, I kind of want to do, every now and then we'll do breakfast for dinner. And I thought this would be good to make some uh, some French toast with. Because it's it's a little bit thick and I'm thinking it will be a, a denser bread than what I normally get. It would hold better, hold together better and would make really good French toast. So I might do French toast for dinner one night with, um, I don't know, some eggs or something. Probably not eggs, maybe some sausage or bacon. I have no idea. Anyway, instead of the plain old loving fresh bread that I always get, this is the one I got this week. And it's, it's just beautiful. And I'm sure it's going to taste really yummy. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I've never, I've never tried that. I love brioche. You know, I've had it in other forms, like little rolls or whatever, but I've never had a loaf of brioche bread before. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to say what I normally say about, the, <laughs> about these things. So if you're playing a drinking game, I'm sorry, but you're not going to be taking a shot. I'm not going to say anything that I normally say. There's this that I bought. It comes in this container. The bottom is metal. See? And the top has a plastic lid. And 
I'll show you what it looks like under there. See, it has a little, a little pull tab right here, a little ring. You open it up, and all the goodness is inside. And there's a goose flying over. I hear it. Mixed nuts with sea salt. And that's all I have to say about that. And these I bought for me. Um, these are the kind of socks that I love to wear when I go to the gym. I go three days a week on my lunch hour because that's really the only time I can do it. Um, and I don't like, I don't like the ones that come way down here. They come, you know, the no-show socks. I don't like those because for some reason I'm really good at walking them down into my shoe. I want ones that come up a little bit higher. I don't want it coming way up. What about, you know, something between the no-show socks and the ones that come way up here? And these look like they would work. Now, these are from uh, Crane. These are, and I've seen other Crane products. I think I've actually bought my kids some socks from Aldi from them. And they liked them. So they're just plain. They're just white and gray. And there are six pairs in here, I think. Yeah. Six pairs, and I think they were $5.79. So I can live with that. <clears throat> um, yeah, so these are supposed to be it says low cut sport socks with arch support, cushioned comfort, and mesh ventilation, which is really cool. And I, I go through socks pretty quickly. I don't know how it is, but I wear them out. It's like my toe just wears a hole in them and it's very quickly. So and lately, all I've been able to find around here in different stores are the no-show socks, and I don't like those. So I'm going to give these a try and see if I like them. Um, oh, bananas. I actually had to buy these twice. I bought bananas when I was in there last weekend, and I, I'm almost hesitant to buy bananas in Aldi because about half the time when I buy them, they, they seem to go from green to brown overnight, and I, I don't know why. I can buy them in other places, and I don't have that problem. But I just got these today, and they're nice and lovely. I'm going to use them tomorrow, so maybe they'll stay good until tomorrow. The reason I bought these bananas was because I have a recipe that somebody gave me for um, peanut butter and and banana pudding. Now I've never tried it, I've never made it, but you make it with peanut butter and bananas, and then you kind of make it the way you normally make banana pudding, but instead of vanilla wafers, you use Nutter Butter cookies. So tomorrow, if I can, I'm going to make some peanut butter and banana pudding, and I'm gonna make a video of it so you can see it for yourself. And if it's a colossal disaster, you'll get to see that too. But I needed bananas for my peanut butter and banana pudding, so that's why I bought these. We actually don't eat a lot of bananas here. We used to, but then I think simultaneously we all three got burnt out on it. And I haven't bought many lately because we all just kind of got tired of them. So we switched to uh, blueberries and strawberries. We've been eating a lot of those lately and apples and sometimes oranges. But bananas I have not bought many of. But um, I was looking at the recipe, and I didn't have everything I needed for that, that pudding, so I bought a box of Baker's Corner Instant Vanilla Pudding. And it said I only needed one package of this for the, for the uh, banana and peanut butter pudding. And I wasn't sure if I had to have the regular or the sugar-free. And I actually got one of each, and I think the sugar-free got laid down somewhere in the kitchen, so it's not in here right now. I just have the regular. But I have one of each, just in case. So this is going to be used for the pudding. Sorry. And this also. This is also from Baker's Corner. It is a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, which I'm going to need for my pudding as well. And I'm also going to need heavy cream, which I also got, but it's in the refrigerator. This is definitely not a low-fat, low-calorie <laughs> dessert. But if it turns out to be good, I'm going to make some more. I have a family reunion to go to in June. And I'm always looking for kind of different things to make, to take. 
So if it's good, I think I'll make it for that too. Um, this is for my kids. They love this. This is from Nature's Nectar, which is an Aldi brand. It's a 64 ounce bottle of 100% juice, white grape juice. And I like it because it tastes like regular juice, but if it gets spilled on the floor, it's not going to turn it purple. So um, we go through a container of this every week or so. So I got some more of that. And I also want to make some salmon patties one night this week, um, which that's the only way I will ever eat fish. I don't like fish at all, except salmon patties the way I make them, which is the same way my mother used to make them. Um, and it's very simple. It's just one can of salmon mixed up with one egg and enough breadcrumbs to make it kind of stick together and make it make the consistency not so runny. And then you just pat them into little patties and you fry them in oil and that's it. I don't add anything else. But it kind of takes away that fishy taste, which I can't stand. Um, this is Northern Catch uh, Wild Alaska Pink Salmon. And this is a 14.75 ounce can. And we will use the whole can and make salmon patties with that. So I'm going to do that one night this week just to do something different. We don't have them very often, um, but I thought it was time to do that again. Now this is another common thing that I buy. These are Millville toaster tarts. And I only got the frosted strawberry. Um, I'm trying to get my kids to eat some of the cereal. I have a ton of cereal boxes and they'll eat most of it and then they don't eat anymore. Like if there's less than a bowl full in there, they won't touch it and it sits on top of the refrigerator and it drives me crazy. So I'm cutting down on their Pop-Tart supply, kind of forcing them to eat up the cereal. <laughs> so you have 12 of them in here and they come in individually wrapped packages of two. It's a 22 ounce box. And they don't, they don't really like these as much as some of the other ones, which is why I bought them to make them eat the cereal. This is mainly uh, for me, although the kids eat it too. I'll go through spells where I don't really want any salsa, and then I do, you know, I, and so I, I thought it would be nice to have some salsa. This is from Casa Mamita, which is another Aldi brand. It says it's a new and improved recipe. I didn't say that the last time I bought it, so I'm curious to see how it tastes now. It is a 24 ounce jar. This is a glass jar. And it was really cheap. I think it was $1.19 for this gigantic jar of salsa. I mean, that's wonderful. So I'm going to enjoy this later. And this next item is from Cheese Club. I think that's an Aldi thing also. It's supposed to look like Velveeta shells and cheese. Um, and I mean, they even say shells and cheese on here. Uh, my kids didn't like macaroni and cheese for a long time, and then, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, they both love it again. It's really weird. They wouldn't eat it for about three years, and now they love it. I have no idea what happened there, but this is a 12-ounce box of the shells and cheese, and usually when I make this, I will give them some with whatever we're having that night, and I always have enough left over that they can have it again the next night, so um, I get two meals out of this, you know, along with whatever else we're having. So it's a pretty good deal. And it's the kind with the cheese that comes in the little packet. It's not the powdered cheese, which I don't like. And we also have a jar of Great Gherkins Kosher Dill Spears in a glass jar. Um, and these are just the spears, it's not the little discs. And Great Gherkins is another, um, and is another Aldi brand. The lid is made of metal, but it's painted. Uh, 24 ounce jar of pickles. Just for a snack. I don't have any specific recipe or anything I need those for. 
Now these I buy to take to work. Um, I haven't gotten tired of them yet, although they taste different. I've noticed the last couple boxes I got tasted, had more of a chocolatey taste, which is okay, I think, but it's almost a little bit too much. The chocolatey taste kind of, is almost overpowering. These are fit and active protein meal bars. And th they definitely taste different. Now the box design has changed as well. The layout and everything of the picture and the, the script up here, all the language and stuff, is different from the last time I bought it. Now this box contains six 1.58 ounce bars and it is the chocolate peanut butter flavor. They do have other flavors, but I don't like them as much. Um, the chocolate peanut butter is, is really my favorite. Um, they're, they're actually very, very good. And I will take those to work and sometimes I'll have one for basically for my breakfast. Um, gives you that nice little boost of chocolate and it just tastes good. Now these I found up near the register. I, I don't, you don't often see, well at least in my Aldi, you don't see a lot of Little Debbie stuff in there. But of course this is especially for Easter. These are Easter basket cakes. And this box contains 10 cakes and they are twin wrapped so you'll have packages. You'll have one, two, three, four, five packages of two each of these little Easter cakes. And sometimes my boys like to make their lunches to take to school. So um, I like to keep a little something around that they can have in their lunchbox for dessert. So that's what these are. And so cute. We have little Debbie right there. Personally, I've never been a big fan of little Debbie cakes. Um, I, I really don't like them all that much. Except for the, the cream filled oatmeal cookies. Those are, those are good. I like those. But the rest of them, I don't really care about them. But it does look quite festive. Look at those pretty colors on there. <laughs> Easter basket cakes. And then on the back, they have a little project if you're interested. Cut and glue. You can create your own bunny. We have the body. Um, I don't know what that is. His leg. That's like part of his leg. Um, you have his ears, nose, eyes, all that stuff. So you can cut out all these pieces and make them look like that. So that's cute. That probably won't happen, but theoretically I could make a bunny. And this, oops, fully cooked bacon. I don't like to cook bacon. I don't like the mess. And I don't feel like putting it in a pan. I don't feel like doing any of it. So I buy fully cooked bacon. It's it's okay. It's good. I like um I think it's Oscar Meyer's. Oscar Meyer has a fully cooked bacon that's better, but it's about twice as expensive as this. This is good enough for me. You get twelve slices of fully cooked bacon. I think it was two thirty nine for this package. It fluctuates every time you go in there. The prices are a little different. Um, so I'm never quite sure how much it's going to be. <laughs> But it's from Appleton Farms, which is another Aldi brand. So I may serve that with the um, French bread I'm going to make one night this week. Now this is also for the peanut butter and banana pudding I'm going to make. This is peanut delight creamy peanut butter. The recipe didn't specifically say it had to be creamy peanut butter. But I'm thinking that will probably work better. You have to melt it before you add it to the recipe. So I'm thinking a creamy peanut butter would work better than a crunchy one with all those bits in there. This is a an 18 ounce plastic jar with a plastic lid. 18 ounces of creamy peanut butter. A brand new jar. And this I got just to have a, a, a little bit of variety in what we have to drink around here. Um, I bought, I normally buy uh, orange juice, but they both told me they're kind of tired of orange juice. So I thought I would switch to something a little different for a little while. This is from Nature's Nectar, just like the grape juice. And it's Splash uh, Berry Blend. And it's supposed to look like V8 Splash. 
Um, so we're going to try this. I think I bought it before, but it's been a while. So I'll stick that in the refrigerator and let it start getting cold. And this is something cool that I didn't buy for any particular reason at this point. Although I, th I think I might make some brownies in this. And see, they have a picture they have a picture of brownies already. This is from Crofton, which is another Aldi brand. And I have bought several Crofton items from them. And I've been very happy with them. They're, they're wonderful. I have a frying pan from Crofton that I use almost every day. And it works great. I love it so much. This is a Crofton square cake pan. It's nine by nine. And it's one and a half inches deep. I see it's a really pretty blue speckly color and it has Crofton stamped on the handles right there and right there. It's a nice metal pan. I have a metal pan similar to this but it's a lot bigger and I thought it would be nice to have a smaller one for um, mainly for brownies, you know, to make some brownies in that. And the last, no, no, I have two things. One thing I have is this uh, laundry detergent. It's kind of like Gain. And normally I get the original Tandle. Um, but I went ahead and got Aloha Fresh to see if I liked the way it smelled. I picked it up and smelled it in Aldi and it smelled really nice. It has a pink cap. The other one has a green cap. This is uh, 100 ounces, 64 loads. And we do probably four loads of laundry a week here, so this will last me a while. And I've used the original kind for a while, and it works great. So I just wanted something that smelled a little different for a change. So this one, it has um, a slightly more perfumey smell to it, but I kind of like it. It fades, though. It doesn't, it doesn't stick around. You don't really smell it much. After you wash and dry the clothes, you can't really smell it all that much. Oh, I actually have two things left. This is for the um, the pudding. It's a package of powdered sugar. I did not need this much, but I didn't have any. The recipe calls for I think a half a, a half a cup or a quarter cup of powdered sugar. <laughs> this was the only thing they had. <laughs> this gigantic bag. Um, yeah, this is. Over this is two pounds of powdered sugar, so but I can stick it in a container and it'll be good forever if I need it again. But I'm kind of thinking before I use it in the recipe, I like the way it sounds when I lay it down on the table and just crinkle it. I may make a video of it just for the sound of the plastic, the plastic bag. I may do that. So I have lots of powdered sugar now. <laughs> and this last thing is kind of big. I'm going to have a little trouble with this. I got this for my front door. Look at this. Gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, this is a wood curl wreath. It's on the side of the box. It's a an 18 inch wood curl wreath from Huntington Home, which is one of their they make all kinds of houseware products for Aldi. These are wood. These pieces are just curled uh, and dyed pieces of wood. And they had them in different colors. They had pink, green, and I think they had a gray one. But I really like the pink one. I think this will look so pretty. On my door. I'm either going to use it for me or give it to my mom because she loves stuff like this. Um, I may end up giving it to her like um, an early birthday present or something. But look how beautiful that is. I saw something similar to this at Target. No, was it Target? I think it was Target. And it was like $45. This was $19.99. So, and it has a it has a pink ribbon up here to hang it from. So I'm gonna find my uh, wreath hook that I used for my Christmas wreath and 
hang this up on the door, I think, or give it to my mom. I have to decide. I wasn't planning on buying this, but I was walking by and I saw it and I said, that's just gorgeous. I have all these individual little curled pieces of wood in here. Isn't that pretty? So, that is, I believe, that is the last thing I have. But I think I did pretty well. I found some really good stuff. And I had a good time shopping, like I always do. And I want to thank you for coming to see all my things from Aldi and Goodwill and the uh, Greensboro Historical Museum. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again later.